Hi everyone, in this video I'll show you how to set up and run video ads to promote your YouTube channel. I've watched many videos on YouTube and all they show is how to set up the campaign but they don't show you the campaign results. But in this video I'm going to show you the results and how much I spent, and how many subscribers I gained and I also share with you how this ad affected my video analytics like the retention and, and the percentage viewed. I'll also share with you what you should do to run a successful campaign so you can see how things work and decide if it is worth promoting your own YouTube channel with ad, with Google Ads. So let's start together and run a YouTube campaign ad promoting one of my videos on this channel. It's one of the videos that has the most views. So the first step if you want to promote a YouTube video is to go to Google Ads. So let's search for Google Ads. By the way, Google Ads was called before AdWords. If you come across AdWords and you're wondering what it is, Anyway, if you don't have an account, just sign up. In my case, I do have one. I'll not waste your time now signing up. So I'll open my Google Ads account to run a campaign. So this is Google Ads dashboard. And what you're going to do now is simply click on a new campaign. And now in this list here, it will tell you to select your campaign goal. So what do you want to do with this campaign? In our case, we're promoting a YouTube video to grow our YouTube channel. So I'll create a campaign without goals guidance. And here select a video ad so we can run a video ad. I'll select a custom video campaign so I can go manually step by step and show you every detail you need to fill out. So select custom and then click continue. Now simply we created a new campaign and we're ready to start our work to set up this campaign. So the campaign name, I'll say Upwork Connect video and I add placements. The placements is just to know which video I use and what's particular in this case. In this case it's placements and we'll come to this in a minute. And now we have the bidding strategy. Let's open this. It will tell you to select the bid strategy between maximum CPV or target CPM. In our case we will select CPV which stands for cost per view. The CPM stands for cost per, per mil or thousand impressions. And here we want to pay for views, not for impressions. So click maximum CPV and let's go down. Now the campaign budget. I will set it to 8.5 GBP, which is equivalent to $10 a day. And I'll start the campaign today, which is the 12th of November. And I'll end the campaign in two, three days. Let's go now to the network. Open the network and I'll tell you where you want to promote and where the ad will appear. I only want ads to run on YouTube videos and YouTube search results. I don't want any partner or we other websites or display networks. So if you deselect the other networks, this will reduce the cost of the ad as well. Now it will tell you to select the country. I will select India, Nigeria and Pakistan. Those are the top countries who view my content at this present moment. Let me show you where to get your top audience located. You can of course promote channel worldwide if you wish to, but if you go to YouTube Studio, Analytics and then go to audience and then if you scroll down you'll see top geographies and then you see the top countries that view your content. Let's close this and go down to languages. In my case I want to promote only to people who understand English but go ahead and choose the languages of your channel and the subtitles you have on your channel. Now let's go to content exclusion and then let's open inventory. Here select the recommended standard inventory but if you care what type of viewer you get, for example people who like other types of content like you see here, you can choose maximum. If you have a brand and worry about the type of audience you get, choose a standard to be safe. That's what big brands do. They don't want their reputation to be affected by random audience. In the case of YouTube channel, you might not care and you want anyone to watch your videos. So in this case, you, you can choose maximum inventory. Now let's minimize this and now let's exclude type ads. I'll remove it from the live streaming videos and embedded videos, YouTube videos. I want to show it only to YouTube in a regular YouTube video. Let's go down here to additional settings, what we have here. If you want to show it on all devices or mobiles or desktop, I will say now all devices. You can also set frequency capping. So you can cap frequency like for each person, how many times you want the ad to appear to them. I'll keep it open. I want people to see my ads. Now when we go to the ad set, to see obviously my video as many times as possible. I'm doing a brand awareness. So I want people to know about my channel. So the schedule is all day. So let's go here and I'll see the demographics. I'll keep all genders selected. Unknowns are those who didn't specify when setting up a YouTube account. If you wondering what unknown is. Now for the age group, again you go to YouTube channel, then go to YouTube studio here and in your studio you can go to analytics, then go to audience and you can go down here to 
age and gender and see what what age group is the most interested in your channel. In my case, it's between 18 to 35, between 18 and 30, or maybe 44. Now I'll go back to my campaign. I'll select 18 up to 44 and remove all these. So I select the demographics. Now in audiences, you need to select a target audience by topic, like people who are interested in. You can select audiences by type or simply you can go down and keep it to any audience. Go to placements and select YouTube channels, other YouTube channels to promote your videos on. Uh, in, the, in my case, I'll select like two or three YouTube channels that publish content similar to my videos. So people watching those channels can also see my video. I'll select these three channels that talk about Upwork exclusively. I only selected three because there aren't many Upwork YouTube channels that I'm aware of. So what I'll do is simply copy the channel URLs and go to my ad here and go down and select YouTube channels and simply paste the URL here, the channel and add it in this way. Again, I'll get a second channel like this one and paste it here and I would add all the channel I selected. And by the way, you can also create an ad group for each YouTube channel to see which channel is working with you the best. So, so this is the placements now. I'll create my ad now and my video ad and let's go back to my youtube channel i'll select this video here upward connects explained copy the link address and i'll paste the url here and here we should select video discovery ads since i'm promoting my channel i'm promoting a video i don't want to run skippable ads in ad streams so i'll choose in feed ad so skippable videos are the ones that come when you run a video and click on skip. I don't want that. I want to show this ad as a thumbnail, same like any YouTube video you see on suggested video on the right here. So I will enter headline, description, line one and two, and those are from my YouTube channel. Now for bidding, you'll enter a maximum CPV. In my case, I would say five cents and test how things will work. And here we click on create campaign. That's it. Continue to campaign. And here we are. We created the campaign. After three days, I decided to post the campaign. So here's our YouTube ad campaign. And you can see I spent around $35 and I got 2,594 views from this video. You probably now see why I stopped the campaign. The click per view is low and that's perfect. That's one cent per view. That's due to the locations I chose and the settings as well. So the view rate is 3%. I'm not sure what to think about it. It seems low to me. What do you think? What I wasn't expecting is I had no earned views. This means the viewers only watch the video of the ad and no other of my videos. And this explains the low subs I got from this campaign. I'll show you how many subs I got in a minute. Now you see the video played to to, and you'll see the percentages here. These percentages aren't exceptionally good. This tells me that the retention isn't good because of the video I chose wasn't the right one to pick. The retention of the video was 47.5 and dropped to 36.4, but I'm not worried much about this video. It isn't the best video at getting me viewers. The subscribers gain is not showing here. Let's go back to the video I used and see the analytics before and after running the ad. So you can see before and that's before and after I gained 12 subscribers and 15 hours watch time from this video in 48 hours. I got these results by spending around $35, as I said before. Obviously, that's not worth it. But I got over 2,500 views, so more people are aware of my channel now and might come back and watch some of my videos. So I feel that the campaign isn't the best I could have run. Uh, what I could have done is first choose the right video, and that's advice from me to you. What I mean by this is pick the video that's gained the most subscribers, not the most viewers from your channel. Or you can choose the video that has the most retention. But be aware that running ads to the video with high retention might lower or kill your retention. But if you ask me, I would choose the one that's made people subscribe. The, that's the video with the most subscribers on your channel. Or even better, you can create a video, a promotional video specifically for the ad that will tell the viewer what's your channel about and entice them to, to watch videos from your channel. The other advice I give you is select channels in similar type. For example, my channel is faceless, but I selected channels where the owners show their face. I must admit the production and editing of two of the channels are better than mine, so this may have played a role in in the results I got, as uh, the viewers who are used to high quality videos maybe won't like to watch lower quality videos. But that's arguable. Maybe 
maybe they're interested in the the content and have value in my videos so i can't really give a definitive answer on this one the other thing is i would run the campaign longer with a higher budget and bidding range and all these changes might give much better results than what i got but if you're tight on budget or, or your content isn't getting new views organically just avoid running ads obviously work on your videos the quality and the content to promote your videos go for seo or search engine optimization and also try to drive traffic from other social media 